Hey you guys, so I wanted to come on here and talk about some really underrated brands that I think should be getting a lot more attention than they do. Yes, I have got green hair, it's only temporary. I'll be washing it out as soon as I'm done with this video. Okay, so the first one is Sleek. Sleek, some of their stuff is hit or miss. I find that their eyeshadow palettes are not up there. I feel like they used to be, but since the release of uh, other indie brands, they have shown us like what real pigment in eyeshadow is. So, so before I used to think that Sleek's eyeshadow palettes used to be really amazing, but since I have explored and found new, found other brands that make better eyeshadow, I don't put them, I don't put Sleek in the same category, but their foundation and their highlighter palettes, that's what makes Sleek like an amazing brand in my eyes. And I feel like their, their highlighter palettes are just out of this world. They are just amazing for like 10 pounds each palette. And the, the highlight is always just like bright, beaming in your face. It's just crazy how bright and beautiful their highlighters are. But I just don't feel like they get the recognition. I feel like they have some of the best highlighters on the market right now. And I'm just kind of baffled as into like, why are they not bigger than they actually are? They have a presence, don't get me wrong, but like when they bring out something new, you don't see it bang on trend mood or bang, it's over here. You know, do you know what I'm saying? It's not like everybody's talking about it. And I feel like that's a shame because I feel like they should just be a lot bigger than they actually are, but that's just me. Next is ColourPop. Colourpop does get recognition, don't get me wrong, they really do. But since recently I tried their Disney palette, the princess palette that they that they just brought out. And I'm just kind of, I even said in that video, they should have the spot that Morphe has. I don't understand why Morphe has this, this spot where everybody's just going crazy for Morphe. I feel like Colourpop should have that place and I understand why they don't have that place because they they don't push through the influences the exact same way as Morphe does don't get me wrong I know that they do send out PR to to influencers I know that they collaborate with influencers but I think the strategy that Morphe has versus the strategy that the strategy that Colourpop has the effect is different but I feel like there should be such a height on Colourpop the way that there is a hype on Morphe. I just can't wrap my head around it. I feel like their eyeshadows blend so well. I don't know if that Princess palette was their regular formula or if it was a better formula or what, I don't know. But it's just, oh, they just blended together awesomely. I don't like, they're a little bit on the powdery side, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and go, oh my God, they're just so buttery and da 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 da. Like no, the mattes are a little bit on the powdery side, but they blend together so well. And even the like really, really light shades showed up on my skin. And that doesn't usually happen with really pale shadows. But if I was to compare a ColourPop palette to a Morphe palette, which I think I will do, I just feel like there's no comparison. I feel like ColourPop, the quality is up there, but yet the price is down there. It's like, what? Next we have Makeup Geek. I know that Makeup Geek used to be like, every influence used to be talking about Makeup Geek, but I think that since things kind of changed a bit. I felt like there was a kind of like a bit of a shift. Like before it used to be BH Cosmetics Cosmetics and then I think it shifted to Makeup Geek and then it shifted to Morphe. I could be wrong it could have been Makeup Geek then BH Cosmetics then Morphe. No I do think it was BH Cosmetics, Makeup Geek and then Morphe. There was like this shift this, this transfer of power almost. And now we just don't hear about Makeup Geek that much. Like recently I've heard a little bit about Makeup Geek. I think they went into like, did they go into Ulta or Sephora? I can't remember. They went into some big store, which is amazing. And it feels like they're slowly but surely coming out of their shell and going back into the mainstream. But because they weren't anywhere to found for such a long time, 
it was kind of like that is such an underrated brand nobody's talking about them their stuff is really good what has happened but as i said i think it's because of the shift in power it's just the way that morphe just managed to take over it was crazy the way they just like swept over the whole makeup beauty industry it was nuts but then what ended up happening was makeup geek were just nowhere to be found and just left in the dust but i'm glad that they are making a comeback next is la colors with la colors i kind of feel like again their stuff is a little bit hit and miss there's certain things which are amazing but because they're on such that like they are on the opposite end of the spectrum where they are just like so so cheap and so affordable i don't think that they get the same kind of respect and yeah they just don't get the same kind of respect as the rest of the brands which are out there like they're not prestigious enough i know that they do like foundations like they have a variety of different things but i just don't feel like they are up there and i just don't no i do understand why like obviously nobody talks about them but when you buy their stuff and then you and then you use it, it's kind of like it's actually really good. It's really strange. It just it just goes to show if you're not pushing through social media, everyone forgets about you. No matter how good your products are or not, because there's some really crappy products out there which are being pushed and people act like it's like the bee's knees and it's really not. But it's because they have that backing, like that social media presence that gives them that drive and it makes it a lot easier for lots of people to be exposed to them. But it's just a shame that LA College just doesn't get that same recognition that I feel that they should. Lastly is Juvia's Place. You guys know that I love Juvia's Place and yes, they do have a social media presence. But at the same time, I feel like in the influencer YouTube world, it's very, very limited to who actually speaks about them. I know Nikki Tutorial speaks about them, but aside from that i can't think of like a really big huge youtuber aside from nikki who talks about them and pushes them yes i see them on trend mood but it's kind of like i don't see them floating around in the huge influencer circle if that makes sense like maybe there is a huge influencer that i just don't watch that does push them but the only one that i have watched that i do see pushing them is nikki tutorials it's really like i just wish that more big influencers were pushing them and was like showcasing their stuff because they are amazing seriously they are amazing oh you know they're gonna be my faves <laughs> Anyway, so let me know down below, who do you think is an underrated brand? Like, who is it that you feel like, you know what, this brand should be getting so much more recognition, especially over certain brands that are just hyped all the time and overrated and blah, blah, blah. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.